All right, well, it is 1024 on this October 29th, 2018. Um, what you about to witness is me take um, a hair website and I'm about to walk you through every last thing that I do as a designer when designing a hair website. I'm going to show the recommended plugins to install. And if you notice, I use the word plugins. We're about to build this website on shop. I mean, on um, WordPress. I'm sorry. And I'm going to show you how easy it is to manage a hair website with a WordPress install. There's going to be a lot of stuff that you can do. A lot, a lot of stuff. And this is about to probably be one of the most boringest videos that I'm going to make. However, if you sell hair and you're really big on wanting to be able to do this on your own, hey, this might be intriguing for you. Um, I'm not going to lie. There's a quicker version of this that I will be releasing. I don't know if it's going to come out before this long version that I have that I'm working on. But the shorter version will be a speed run and you'll be able to get the drift. So I would say hold on for a few moments because I'm going to show you what the site originally looks like. And then I'm going to show you what the site will ultimately look like when we get finished with it. So um, this is the, the website as it's as it is. It's um, hair overdose dot uh, hair overdose collection dot com. Uh, was, this site was done, man, over a year ago. Um, I think it may have been a little bit before it's time and, and stuff like that with the, how we implemented video and stuff into the site. And what I mean by that is when you come here, you can see where we stole some pictures off of, um, I think it was Instagram or something like that. And we did some stuff here. Um, we've got some product information um, about us section, more product, you know, just a, your hair matters. This is before, um, I don't know what else they said prior. Then just some hair overdose. You're supposed to click this. You see some photos on Instagram and stuff. So nevertheless, this is this um, the home page. Um, this well, no, this is the home page. Both of those are the home pages. Um, this is the about page. Once again, you can see a video in the background. Uh, you know, hair overdose shirt in the back. Hair overdose shirt, right? Like it was just one of those things where we were really pushing. Like, hey, let's make your site good by putting video in the background um about us information you know uh, uh, um, just a little typical stuff then the contact page is here you know i'm not gonna lie looking back at and i was the designer i am the designer of, of this site uh, i think for probably the first two weeks of us launching this website this was a good website after then um, i would say that it did not hold up to what needed to happen um However, I mean, she's making sales and stuff, so I don't want to necessarily say it's a bad site, but I would say that what we're doing in 2018 to where we were doing probably late 2016 for this site, major improvements, and uh, we do, we're do we doing a few things um, a little bit better now. Now, from that, I want to show you what the site is to ultimately look like. So to do that, this here, um, so just so that you kind of know, this here is all custom design. This um, we're using a program called Adobe XD, and we laid out this full website, right? So everything that you see here, this is not based off of a template or you know anything like this. We're utilizing plugins that allow us to like fully do exactly what we want with the site. Um, so the idea is just that everything that you see here, these particularly particular four pages here, are what's going to ultimately make up the whole site and then we'll do a few other things closer towards the end of the video concerning all like the um the shop page and how we're going to optimize that but i did want to show you what the site will end up looking like so um one thing that i do also need to include is that i don't make websites like this um, i think that these sites are for a particular designer and that's not me however it seems as if i do need to let people know that i can most definitely do this, you know, this modern beauty, you know, whatever this type of design is, is considered, um, you know, exaggerated, flashy design, I guess. Um, and it works specifically, you know, in the market that we're making the website for. So um, this is what the updated navigation is going to look like, you know, big logo, navigation, social media links, link to extensions. There's going to be a link to a custom wig option at some point. Um, down below, nice big call to action to sign up for the e email newsletter, um, extensions and wigs. Once again, 
um, then we kind of feature the full lace wigs here. Like some of the, basically these are the same exact full lace wigs that were shown on the uh, site that's up now. Um, a very, very big call to action. So if you notice we're changing, this is what I mean by we're updating this, the design. Whereas instead of showing the customers, we're showing a cell phone, slay and share, tag us on Instagram, tag the company. Uh, and then the footer, navigation, logo, another email opt-in. So this would be the new updated homepage. Uh, from there, this would be considered the new uh, about page. Same concept, just a little bit more heavy on the typography. Um, from there, this is the new frequently asked questions page. Once again, update on the um, typography. Uh, I'm real big on typography. I love typography. I, I mean, I, I, I can't get enough of it. So just getting le letters and fonts to work together really, really uh, makes, uh, uh, I love that part of working with type. Um, from there, this is the new location section where you can see Houston, Texas, San Antonio, contact, real simple contact form. Um, and those will be the main pages that we design and then we'll utilize most of the header and the footer of the site and get all of the individual pages done, such as like the shop page. Um, so with that being said, we're gonna jump right on into it. So this is a standard WordPress install um, that already has the site in here. We're about to simplify the mess out of this website so that we can get everything done. So y'all pray for me because um, one thing that I don't wanna do is because I am 100% um, not, like downloading this website, like I'm doing this actually on the server um, and we're hosting the website. So we're doing it specifically on the server. And the biggest thing is just that if I refresh any of these pages while working on it, for the most part, I'm gonna lose what this information actually is. And I don't wanna do that. So let's hope I don't click the refresh button on any of these pages. And let me just make sure I've got everything. I got card exchange, see, I didn't even know that page was there. All right, so cool. So first thing we're gonna do is I'm gonna let you know what theme we use to be able to design the sites out uh, with no limitations. So go to appearance, we'll go to themes. Um, the theme that's currently installed was, is Jupiter. I used to love Jupiter. All of my websites that I used to build for my clients was with this theme. I hate them, but I think I need to stop hating them because I think all the issues that I had are gone, however, I don't want to chance it. Um, so we now use a, a, a theme called Beaver Beaver Themer, um, which is here, Be well, Beaver Builder theme, but it's called Beaver Themer. And um, we utilize uh, the child theme. So we're gonna go ahead and activate that. And I'm gonna have to show you why I specifically said, I hope I don't delete or refresh any of the pages that are already loaded. because if you take a look now, this is what the website looks like now. If you see like now, everything is, is gone because we're no longer using the theme. And uh, what you see here are a bunch of short codes that are dependent upon us using the theme that we I just deleted. Um, for plugins, we're gonna get rid of all the plugins that were initially on the site for that theme. So we're gonna you know, disable that. Uh, let's see, Hustle Hustle Pro. We actually can disable that. I don't like that plugin anymore. WooCommerce. We can disable that. We can disable that. The biggest thing that I want to let you know is that um, if you if you currently have a WordPress website, I personally, and this is when I say personally, attempt to only um, I personally attempt to only keep up to twenty plugins. I don't, after you add so many plugins, it does take a toll on your site. Uh, sometimes that toll is justified, uh, meaning that it's justified if you need the plugins. Like if you absolutely need the plugins that may, like after you hit that 20 threshold and if you do see a dip in your website's performance, but you need it, then that dip may be worth, you know, having all those additional plugins that may be slowing the site down, such as, um, Facebook plugins typically do take a toll on your site simply because it has the call out to Facebook to get certain things done. And, um, you know, it's kind of like, well, if you need the Facebook integration, then in all honesty, you should, you should keep it right. Such as if you're using like a Facebook, um, chat. 
just deleting these plugins and then I need to add in license codes for all of these plugins. Um, give me a few seconds. I need to cut the mm. air on because it is a bit hot. Or I need to cut the air down. So those plugins are deleted. Let's go ahead and let's go ahead and add in our codes. I'm gonna go ahead and move this over here because I do not need y'all taking my codes. Uh, let's see. So Beaver Builder. So while I'm doing this power pack, um, we're utilizing. So the plugins that we're activating right now are Beaver Builder. Um, of course, that's not valid. Beaver Builder, Beaver Builder Power Pack, and then Beaver Builder Ultimate Add-ons. Um, those are all of the plugins that we're utilizing, or at least installing, um, for this particular website. And they are going to be the pieces of, these are the tools that we are going to use to um, create an amazing website for you to see. And I do appreciate y'all making it this far in. Let's see, the last thing that I wanna do, I think there's one other plugin that I need to activate. Or not, ultimate add-ons, beaver thing. Okay, so so let me go ahead and bring this over here. I can officially update my plugins. I don't know what's going on today. I'm talk I'm talking about the pollen is heavy out here in Texas, man. Or in Houston. I'm like it was in my throat. I'm drinking tea right now because of the um because all of this nonsense that's going on with this it, in the air, it's like it's in the house. And that's the crazy thing. I'm just like, filter's not dirty or nothing. It's a brand new filter. And I'm just, ugh. It's just crazy to have pollen stuck in your throat. It's the nastiest stuff in the world, man. Um, Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Okay. Cool beans, cool beans, cool beans. We'll clear the cash. And basically from there, we will get this ball rolling. All right, cool beans, cool beans. So first thing we're gonna do is we are going to create the new header that we have created here. So from that, what we mean by the header is basically everything in this pink bar here and then this navigation, right? So Kevin, how are you gonna do that? Well, we're gonna come to Beaver Builder Go to Themer Layouts. We're gonna come here and click Add New. And from there, we're gonna say, let's build the header. And we're gonna click on Add Themer Layout. So basically, with the, the thing with the Themer Layout is that you can really pinpoint every aspect of the website without needing to do any code, right? Um, it was a big misconception in 2018, November, like, oh, you know, I can only do what my theme allows me. That is not the case anymore. And it's been that way for a while. I don't want to make this seem like this is something new. Um, it's just that, you know, technology and these plugins have came a very, very long way to where now, you know, I mean, you know, if, you know the idea is that you really don't, if you're just looking to design a site, keyword design um, you can really do this all on your own now excuse me without necessarily having to hire you know a designer um, so if you really actually want to um, DIY a project I mean there are tools and resources out there if you're gonna take the time to learn it uh, what I'm doing right now is color in the background so I get that nice pink, the hair overdose pink. Um, let's see. 
I'm going to need to I need to drag another row in here because we got some social media icons that we're trying to add to. Drag another row in. And then we'll make this 10%. We'll make this 10%. See how we can get see it. Well, let's make it 12. Because it looks like even 12 is not going to cut it. And you'll see what I'm doing in a few seconds. So order your custom wig today. Let's click on text. Drop that bad boy in there. Boom. Order your custom wig today. We're going to center the text. Get rid of all this extra padding that I don't want. Or margin. Click on save. Click on save. Column settings. What I'm doing now is centering that text right there. <laughs> And then we're gonna add some social icons. The two social icons that we're going to add are going to be Facebook. Well, let's do Instagram first. We're gonna add an Instagram. Let's come down here. Instagram, Facebook. I hate this logo. I'm not gonna lie to you. Come in here and add on Facebook. Style, color, we're gonna make those white. Size, let's make them 18. Box size, let's give box size 22. There we go. Click on save again. Come here, column settings, yes, center it. So that'll ultimately end up centering we're gonna to go to column settings and I need that text to be white. Click on save. All right, now I'm gonna click on P so that I can see my work. Boom, still looks a bit big. So I'm gonna come back here. I believe that it, yep, it's here. Zero, zero. And then I'm gonna click on P again. There we go. That's looking a whole lot better. However, something's not looking right. 888888. Eight, eight, eight. Here. Nope. Interesting. Looks like I will need to revisit this. Or maybe it's because it's ducked off up there. Nevertheless, let's drag out another row. And we're gonna make this full width. Um, we're gonna come here. Awesome, we're gonna make the background black like we said we were. And I lied to you, didn't I? That show didn't come out black. One, two, three, one, two, three. File, export, selected, HOD, header, dash, logo, desktop, PNG for the web. So what I just did is I just exported out the logo As you can see here, center, center, select. Should see that populate. Boom. All right. One thing I am not understanding is why do we have all that extra room? That is not really there. So I want that logo to be just a little bit smaller. 300 pixels. 
Yeah, that's a, that's a little bit better. So from here, we're now going to drag in one more row. All right. And in this row, this is where we're actually going to put the um, navigation. Come down here, background, color, this off-white. The reason why it's off-white is because we want a little bit of contrast from that in an actual white area. Um, let's click on... Lose my train of thought. What am I trying to do? I am trying to type in menu. Um, advanced menu. We don't want that. We want our main menu. Oh, Lord of Jesus. Look at that. Let's see. Click on menu. We want a center. Typography. Menu typography. Months. Then semi bold, all uh, uppercase, um, color, so I mean type order. link color, gonna make the link color black, gonna make it active link color, come here. Make it this darker color. All right, let me FAQs. I don't know why they retitle that. And then we want the typography font size to be 22. Click on save, click on done, click on publish, because this here is bothering me. This thing does get a little buggy from time to time, but you get used to working with it, because as you can see, it's not really there like that. Um, come there, and then I'm gonna give this row the same treatment I gave up there. So I'm gonna come up here, and I'm gonna get, basically make all of the padding eight. And then I'm gonna come here and remove all of the margin so that the text can almost hug that. Now, this is our finished product for the header, right? But this is for desktop. So think about it. For iPads, this is what it'll look like for iPad, which it still looks good. And then for iPhones or for mobile devices, oh, this actually works out pretty well. I like that. Yeah, I don't think I'm going to change this. Typically, I would have. I'm going to change the title of this page from frequently, frequently Asked Questions to just simply FAQ. But typically, I have to do something different because I don't like how this looks. And I come to think about it, I don't like how it looks. And the reason why I don't like it is because this is how much real estate, I don't know how, how much real estate I actually have left. You know what? I'm going to do this. So we're going to make this, this large and medium devices only. And then I'll have that show up as a slide in later on. So basically, I'm going to show you what we just did. So for desktop, it's going to look like this. For um, iPads, it's going to look like this. Notice this is going to disappear for mobile. For mobile, it disappears. Because I need this real estate, all of this real estate, to actually show what's on the website right so um this here like i said is going to be i'm going to do a slide in at some point in time it might not even be in this video but there's going to be a slide in that says hey order your custom wig for mobile devices only um the true definition of um responsive websites let's see horizontal Trying to think of what I'm trying to do. Border, no border. Oh no, that's neat. I'm so glad that it did that. Link color here, typography, uppercase. 
I like how you can click on sub menu and it just knows to show you the sub menu so you can see what you sub it in the menu. <laughs> um, let's see, what do I want to do? Drop shadow, yes. Shadow color black. Borders. No, I don't like the borders. Yeah, I didn't like those borders. Separator settings, those are cool. I think this is cool. There's, there's not anything major that we need to do there. Um, with, let's do 350, why not? Let's go to responsive hamburger icon, da 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 Display on small devices only. Overall alignment, typography. Okay, cool beans, so we can click on save. So I'm just gonna check my work. Boom. And now you can see this is where we made it 350 so that this here can, this text here doesn't have to be stacked specifically on, um, specifically on desktops. All right, we'll click on done, publish. Let's go ahead and click on the home page. All right, so we're on the home page. This is what we're looking like getting somewhere just check my work does it look like i know what i'm doing does it look like i know what i'm doing right this is the original and this is what we actually came up with um home shop don't have the custom wig option in here yet that frequently asked questions is going to be faq and then contact will be just contact it won't say contact us yeah and if you notice, I'm just saying, I'm a designer, so home shop, both of these are one words. FAQ, contact, both of those are one words. However, custom wig and book me are married together. Don't ask me why. I'm a professional. Um, okay, so from there, what's the next thing that we're going to design? Kevin, we are going to design the footer. So if you notice, my workflow is basically saying, hey, let me design the tops and the bottoms that are going to show up on every last website or every last page of the website. That way I don't have to worry about that, right? That's just going to come up on every last site. So I'm going to do that now. Uh, let's see, home shop, book me. So let's go ahead and go back to hair overdose. So we're going back to the back end of the website. From there, we're going to click on Beaver Builder, Themer Layouts again. And then I'm going to click on Add New. And I'm going to say footer, and I'm going, or yeah, footer, and then I'm going to name it fodder, footer. Click on add themer layout. All right, so once again, um, this is all of the options for the themer layout. I'm just simply gonna click on choose and click uh, entire site. That's because location, I want it to show up on the bottom of every page of the website. I'm gonna click on launch Beaver Builder. And while that's doing its thing, uh, come down to, so if you notice, nothing is highlighting blue like it was previously, right? So what happens is that now everything at the footer is highlighted and I'm just gonna get rid of all of that crap because I don't want it. And then I'm going to come down here and drag in my row. And this is what the footer is. I'm actually gonna include this pink glitter bar at the top too, but for the most part, everything from this pink glitter bar on down is what I'm looking to have set up as, a, um, as the footer. And if you don't mind, I'm actually going to export out a few things. You can't see it because I am on my other monitor. I'm going to call this glitter pink border. And you know what? I'm going to export it out as a JPEG, even though something's telling me I should be exported out as a PNG, but I don't care. Let's click select. I'm exporting out the logo now. Let's do footer dash logo. That's going to export out as a PNG. And then I am now exporting out the background image file, export, select footer dash background dash. All right. That we're going to export out as a JPEG. 
And as you can see, all my little files are populating over there. While I'm working, I like to make a photo called website assets. And basically, as I no longer need anything, I drop my graphics in this website assets folder. That way, when I sometimes clients want to call you back saying, oh, can you make an update to my website? What needs to be updated? Um, the background image of something. I don't know. They may need something that we've designed. And as a courtesy, I'm typically one to keep the information. So, you know, I don't know. Because I, I never need that. I always keep the original design XD file that I'm pulling from now anyway. But, uh, but anyway, don't want to bore you with that. So I'm here, here, here. And if, you've, if you're if you still listening to my crazy voice, I really do want to say I appreciate you. Um, if you don't mind, if you can leave a like on this video, that would thoroughly let me know that you've at least made it to how, how many minutes are we in this video? I can't tell. I really can't tell. And I really hope that the video doesn't like crap out on me while I'm working on the, while I'm designing this thing because um, that'll really hurt my feelings if I try to do this and it messes up on me while I'm working. Advance, zero, 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 zero. So what I just did right now is I just uploaded uh, the pink banner or pink, pink border and I removed all the padding around it. So basically everything below the the pink border is going to touch the pink border and then everything above the pink border which will be the content area of the individual pages will touch the pink border as well so that it'll have a seamless um design to it and you'll see what i mean when we start at when we start getting to the pages so we're here fix 13 let's do 1300 i should have actually set up my all of my doodads before I got this deep into it, but I didn't want to bore y'all too early. So from here, what I'm doing is I'm setting the background image. Cool thing that I like about XD is that it really does do a good standard job with optimizing the images whenever we upload, uh, upload the images to the site. Uh, so kudos to Adobe for that. Uh, we're here. So what do I need to do now? I've got three columns, obviously. So I need to add two more rows, or I mean two more columns, not rows. But I need to grab rows to make columns. And then I need to grab another image module. And I'm grabbing another image module so that I can upload my footer logo. <laughs> select photo boom, 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 boom. click on save right all right and every time I upload this image is like it always adds more padding below I find that to be very very interesting um, here we're going to add a menu just like we have in our navigation main menu vertical None. We don't want any of that. One, two, three, four, five, six. All right. And then we're going to come to menu. We want it to be left aligned. We want the link color to be white. Um, link hover color can actually, it could, we could hover and get that color. Uh, but it doesn't have a C. It doesn't have an active. Because I don't want it to stay pink. It's in the footer. But it can. I mean, it's not like I'm hurting anybody. Let's go to Poppins. Then, what do I have to set it? Semi bold. All right. Responsive hamburger icon. None. We don't want it to respond to anything, but we do want it to stay left aligned. Um, let me see. Sub menu. This is actually okay. So it doesn't need to be that wide. Let's do 185. The only thing that I am seeing that I may want to change is this blink padding. Oh my gosh, it is tremendously high. Let's, see, let's do six. 
six, six, six. You know what? That's no. That's ten, 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 ten. ten. Pink trunk, link margin. Is it in the typography? Line height. Yeah, it is. 0.45. Text transformation, uppercase. There we go. Now we're getting, now we're cooking with hot fire. Uh, customize 22. Whew, I need to turn that to FAQ. That's killing me looking at that like that. Let's do 0.25. Click on save. There we go. Man, that's killing me that that damn thing say like frequently asked questions. Let me click on done and publish because that's going to bother the mess out of me. Click on refresh. All right. So, whew, hurt my feelings right there. Book, hair overdose, contact us. Man, I hate them sub menus. What can I do? I wish I could set it to do on just a click. I'll figure it out. In the meantime, matter of fact, let me see. Sub menu. Show drop shadow. That's cool. That's cool. I keep telling myself it's cool. No borders. Typography. Uppercase. Yeah, uppercase. Okay, so now I need to make the email section um, subscription UABB. I believe she is with MailChimp and we're not using any text. Apparently we're just saying subscribe. This is crazy because I'm doing such a good job. Button, subscribe. I really do need to get this thing fixed because hover style, full width, full width. Full width, no rounded corners. Excuse me. I wonder how good that mic was. I really hope y'all did not just hear me halfway belch. That would be so nasty. Text color is going to be white. Text cover on the hover is going to be white. Background color is going to be the pink. Background hover cover, however, will be the darker pink. Opacity. Opacity. Boom. Holla at your boy. Uh, we're going to come to typography. We're not worried about the heading. We're not worried about the bottom text. We are worried about the input, <laughs> pop-ins, semi-bold, uppercase, button text, pop-ins. So again, semi-bold. I feel like there needs to be a little bit more space within that, but I'm not gonna mess with it too much style. Left overall alignment, we're gonna say center. Um, for whatever reason, we don't want the name. I'm not sure why. We just want your email. Or email, or no, email. Terms hot, show message, thank you for subscribing. Typography. Why isn't it? Just curious. Input text. I'm going to have to fix that manually from what it looks like. Semi-bold, semi-bold, semi-bold. 
All right, I'm going to fix that. And what I mean by fix is that this is not Poppins. That font is not Poppins. This font here. That is not Poppins. And right now, I am dissecting the issue with a little bit of CSS. Font family, font family. Font family inherit. See, now it's Poppins. I don't know where it's getting this inherent from, considering that, it, oh, you know what? It's not Poppins. That's what I was just talking about. All right, so I'm going to click on Save. I mean, I'm not going to click on something. Done. Publish, right? So what I'm about to do right now is I'm about to do what I told you I should have did earlier, which is, um, what am I going to add this CSS code? That's the first thing. Um... Come here. Oh, that shit. Let's hit that input. All right. So Poppins. And I'm going to come here. And now I'm about to um, go ahead and get everything set up. So this is whenever you're working with, um, with the Beaver Themer, you can really set a lot of your colors ahead of time a lot of your fonts so that you don't have to go through and select every last setting so for instance I need to get that pink that I just randomly selected from here yeah see that darker pink I do not remember what I did so I'm about to do a few things real quick so one of the things that I'm fixing to do right now is I'm about to save this because those are the social media icons um, Let's go back to the back end. I'm about to save this so that whenever I need those icons, I don't have to worry about um, creating those every time. And you'll see what I mean. Because I can use those same exact icon. These up here at the top. I'm going to click Save As. And I'm going to say Social Media Icons Dash Small. And I think I'm going to make them global. So when I make them global, this basically means, hey, if I change, I'm about to put this set down here at the bottom too. No matter which one I change, it's going to add in every location where, where th this global option is. I um, hope that kind of makes somewhat of a some sense style. And that's the client right there actually messaging me about, I don't know what she's telling me yes for. I don't know, what, what are we talking about? Did I tell you? Okay, no, yeah, she was responding to a message. Okay, so um, click on done. We're gonna click on publish again. I'm gonna go back to the back end of the website. I'm going to go back to Customize because I didn't finish that, and then I'm going to go back to the footer to add the global social media icons. So for general, um, all right. So let me go to footer. Looks like I'm going to go back to the footer anyway because I need to get that purple. I mean that pink. So I'm going to come here and click on save, and as you can see, this is where I have the saved social media icon small. I'm about to drag that right that bad boy right in there. I'm going to click on save magic right and then I'm gonna come to button and grab this dark purple or pink whatever color it's supposed to be now and I'm about to set that as the hover color so any text link that I put on a site see if I got any like here you see that it's the light pink I click I hover over it, it's the dark pink it just changed because I just added that there Meaning that let's say all I needed to do was a few things with the um, site as far as poppins. And this is for headers. Which one am I using for headers? Montserrat. Oh, it's not even poppins, man. I'm using the wrong damn font. Montserrat. Damn. I'm tripping. And I'm using black. And there's not a black for that. It's just bold. But I feel like 
regular. Everything is uppercase. I just love this font, man. Monterey and Poppins, that's my jam right there. Um, let's see. That means I got to change all of this damn text. Golly, I'm tripping. I'm tripping, tripping, tripping. All right, so we've got that, and then what body text are we using? I think it's, yeah, just regular. So I'm going to come to text. And the funny thing is that I'm using 22, so I'm going to do 16 here. Make that bold, black, I mean black. And I'm going to go 15. That's too big. 1.6. Put a little space in between that bad boy. Click on the buttons. Um, I mean, I can. I really don't want to do this. But it's all for the better. So basically what I'm doing now is... Oh, do I, did I say the pink? Yes, I did. Thank you. So basically, whenever I make a button, the theme is going to know, hey, these are the settings that we need to put for your button. Unless I, you know, say otherwise. Uppercase. Like I said down here, it's not no damn poppins. I don't know why I thought that was Poppins. I use Poppins as my font for my personal brand. Content, WooCommerce layout. We'll keep it. So the sidebar will be to the right. Uh, we're going to do a medium sidebar. No, we're going to sidebar to the left. What we mean by sidebar is, so these options here are for the shop page. If this website can keep up. So if you notice, that's what this is to the left. This is the sidebar that we're talking about. Um, the sidebar will be viewable on desktop. You know, I'd say desktop only, because when you're on your phone, you really know what you're looking for here. Um, it'll be on the shop page and the categories page, but not for the product itself. So what we mean by that is, I can click on blonde collection. There's nine products in here. From here, I can click on full lace wig and after that now you see that that bar is gone right the bar is gone so that's all that's that's all that that means um number of columns so i'm going to push that down to three so the pictures are a little bit bigger i'm going to hide the add to cart button cool beans cool beans cool beans light box we do want the light box however i hate this i do not know why I guess it ain't bad. Not for this site. Um, footer. We're not worried about the footer. Code. We're going to come back to the code because we're going to want to add um, the Facebook styling options. Show you how to add Facebook Messenger to your site. Um, I already actually have this done, but hair. Houston, Texas, Virgin Hair Company. Good SEO work. And now I need to come down here, file, new, favicon. So this is the icon that's going to show up in the upper, or in the tabs of your websites. I remember when this was like a thing that everybody finally decided to um, look into. Like, oh, is my site going to, are you going to be able to add a favicon to my site? I'll never forget that. That was, um, if I figure out how to save this icon um that was like the thing hey can i get my logo in my tab you know and i'm just like how have we come so far now people are wanting to know still know how to add social media to their websites um and after about doing this for almost maybe an hour maybe i don't know 45 minutes i'm just now realizing i've been talking to myself this whole time this is the first time that i'm actually doing this I don't know if I'm weird or what, but I am on a mission to let people know that you can get the same site, if not better. Oh, this is cool. So some people are just like, you 
flick this thing on, and for the most part, you get this drop down, this cool little drop down that comes down. This is, a, and you could just make a cool little call to action just by typing that out. It's like, hey, Black Friday sale, Cyber Monday sale, use coupon code, whatever, and then you click on dismiss, and that whole thing will go away. Uh, we've got a better solution, a better custom solution, but it's kind of cool to know that that's just like a default option available um, for people to be able to see or to be able to use. Show categories, subcategories, that's cool. Product images, 1,000 by 500, I think that's a little bit too big, but I'll rock with it. Um, these are the options that you can change. Okay, so company name field, optional. In all honesty, I'm gonna make it hidden. Optional, phone, yes. Highlight asterisk, privacy policy page. We do not have a privacy policy page. Terms and conditions is here. Awesome. So if what you're looking at here is what you're seeing here, for the most part, this is my old address, so you don't have to worry about this. Um, so if I wanted the company name added, the field added to this um, form, you can see that it's set as optional, and now it's asking for a company name. If I click on hidden, it immediately hides itself. This is something that you, these are options that you do get like with a system like Shopify. I'm not so much as uh, uh, familiar with Wix as of yet. I haven't built a site with Wix, but I do plan on doing that. Um, the idea, um, what I'm looking at doing, oh my gosh, my nose is leaking. I told you this, this weather is not even weather. This thing, I'm not going to blow my nose. Um, but the thing is, is just that you've got the same exact functionality and stuff that you would get with a lot of other e-commerce sites with showing what you want to show on this page. Um, so we've got all of this, you know, set up and all that kind of cool jazz. So we're, um, click the back button on the checkout and then I think, yeah, that's it. So I've globally set everything that I personally wanted to set. So we'll go ahead and click on publish. Now, everything that I did was from a global standpoint. However, I still need to backtrack and fix the little dumb mistakes that I did earlier, specifically with the footer, right? Because I manually said, hey, I want pop-ins. However, I can now go to default, click on save, click on done, publish, because that's not the default. Click on refresh. And as you can see now, it's, that is mozzarella. And just so that you know, so you don't think I'm so crazy. If I hover over it, if you look on the side of my mouse, it says, whatever, I don't know, I say mozzarella, I don't know, some kind of weird word. But it's the right font, but it's not the right weight. So I still need to get in there and fix it. Um, so let's get in here. Let's be thorough. Typography default. I wish so. At the end of the day, I still have to come in here. That's right. Semi bold. Man, I'm about to fix that. That shit is pissing me off. I'm not even gonna lie to you. Let me get in here and add this one last line. Okay, so I need to add a little bit of padding. Where's it? Margin. Padding. Margin. 65 and let's do 15 at the no we can keep the 20 keep the 20 at the bottom come here come here and then we are going to we're going to do text I just wish that it was a cooler text module paste that in there designed by your boy Come to uncommon. I said I wasn't going to put a hair website in my new portfolio, but I'm not going to lie. When we're done with this, I actually just want to um, have it in there just to say that we did it. All right, so we're here, here, here. We're going to center. And then I'm going to need to say font. Dash. If I'm if my if I know my CSS, um, twelve pixels. Did I do that right? 
Did I do that right? Let's do. Don't think I did that right. Column, column settings. Color white. Link color. Yeah, I don't want the. I don't want my link to stand out. This is the client's website. So I'm gonna come back here. Um, let's let's make this like eight. All right, we're gonna make. Dang, you really making me want a six. And then I'm gonna come here and say zero. However, at the top, I'm going to say 32, 36. All right. I'm going to click on done, publish, nose leak, leak check. <sighs> Boom. All right. And then I'm going to come back here again because, as you can see, it is not 2017 anymore. It is 2018. It's actually about to be 2019, right? Um, oh, last thing. I actually got to do all of that, man. I'm straight tripping, boo. Um, typography. Let me go ahead and not even play around. That's right. That's why sit my phone. All right, I'm gonna save. Okay. And if you notice, I'm over here looking like, why is there so much padding on this thing, man? Like I'm like, oh, it's not because of that. It's because of this here. There we go. I'm going to save. And then my last request, column settings, yes, center. So what I did is I just centered that down with this. Um, I'm trying to think now. Thinking, and I'm thinking. I don't like how this is 22. It's going to make that 18. And then, in the meantime, I do need to do a bit of I do need to do a bit of house cleaning, or not necessarily house cleaning, but I do need to um, Need to get the Mailchimp to link that. So the idea is you do not have to, and I know I got this chick's Mailchimp login. I hope this is right. She does not log into Mailchimp. Okay, let's log out. Boom. I feel like I just saw. Uh, boom. Log in. Cool me. So the way that you can, you know, simply log Mailchimp with a subscription form here is um, you just need the API code key, uh, um, API key. And um, you generate that real easy in the MailChimp, then you'll paste it in here. And then it's, um, what is it? Let's just say HOD, MC. So here over those MailChimp. Once you put the API code in, it knows now, hey, you can select whatever list you have in MailChimp and then just select it, click save. Every time somebody fills out that form, email's going straight to um, going straight to MailChimp. 
not gonna lie, this needs to be a little bit bigger. I could live with that. Done, publish. All right. Come here. When everything is stacked, get a little bit of that hair in the background. That's cool. Yeah, I think I think I could live with this. I could live with this. I could live with that. So from there, freaking, freaking, freaking there, we're gonna go back to the back end of the site. I'm gonna go to pages, and I'm gonna do what is bothering the hell out of me. I'm about to quick edit this and call it FAQ. FAQ. I'm about to click on save. I'm not playing these games no more. <laughs> click on here, overdose. All right, now this looks a whole lot freakishly better. And I need to do one more thing. Contact us it needs to just be contact, quick edit. Contact, contact. Click on update. My T ain't T no more. This iced tea. All right, contact FAQ. This is a whole lot better. Here over those maintenance tips. That just needs to say maintenance tip tips. You, you never need to re-emphasize a word if it's already known. And it looks like maintenance isn't even spelled right. Maintenance tips. Don't blame that on me. I, the client added that page after we were finished with the site. All right. Maintenance tips. Houston, San Antonio. Oh, my gosh. This looks so amazing. All right. One last thing that I want to do, and then we're finally going to get into designing some pages, right? I know I've probably already lost most, if not all, of you. This here needs to go here. I would not put that under the shop. I wouldn't put it up there at all, to be honest with you, but it's the client's call. It's already there. All right, so let's see what we got. Let's see what we got. Show me what you got, shout A. FAQ, we got both of our policies, shop. Boom, boom, boom. I'm feeling like a million bucks right now. I want to show you all some fun stuff real quick and the fun stuff that i want to show you is how can i integrate facebook chat on my website i'm glad you asked i am so glad you asked i really wish what point in the video we were in um so i can show you this so when you're logged into facebook right there used to be a plugin that you can get to do it i even had it on my website and it made it real easy just to start a plugin you log in boom it's done I didn't realize how easy it was, how easy Facebook made it to integrate Facebook um, chat on your website. So um, so what I'm going to do is while logged into your business page, right, you come to settings. And after you go to settings, you go to messenger platform. I'm telling you, man, I do not want to blow my nose on camera, but I do want to blow my nose on camera. Um because I, I don't feel like pause. And I feel like if I pause, it's going to mess up. So I'm adding in the domain names now, but you want to white label your domain names. That This basically means, hey, if this do, if the domain names that you put this code on, because I'm a generator code to get the Facebook chat bubble on, if, the, if that domain name's not here, you that person will not be able to have facebook chat on your your facebook chat on their website kind of keeps people from doing malicious stuff um so if you notice it says customer chat plugin you click on setup click on next after you click on next um you could change this message if you wanted to um i'm not going to change it because i don't know what the client really wants i don't do the content writing thing however i can add color so you can kind of brand it a little bit change the message, give it a color, click on next. Um, I am now going to recopy the exact domain name that I copied just a few moments ago, paste it in there. 
And then I always, I don't think I have to add it, but I always add the one that says www dot at the www version too. Um, one thing that I do know, I believe you have to have an a SSL certificate on your site. So if you notice in this domain name, it says HTTPS. You have to have a secured site, I believe, to uh, put this code on your site. So after you copy the code, um, if you're utilizing um, WordPress, once again, it's WordPress, and um, you have a child theme, I recommend you using a child theme. I don't even want to get into it, but for the most part, if you notice, there was at the beginning of the video, there were two Beaver Builder um, sites or themes that we installed. Matter of fact, I can show you. Change theme. So you notice there's two. There's Beaver Builder here and then Beaver Builder child theme. So what happens is, is that if you only used the theme without a child theme, that means that we're adding code to the main theme. That theme gets updated over time, if it's a good theme. And over time, let's say I added code today and there was an update tomorrow, it's gonna update the main theme and erase all of my code. So how do you get around that? You make a child theme and you add the code or whatever edits you're doing to the child theme because the child theme is not going to get updated. It doesn't need to be updated because it runs off of the parent theme being the regular one, right? So the parent theme gets updated and then the child just inherits those new updates while still keeping any edits that you may have done previously. Hope that kind of made a little bit of sense. Uh, but with Beaver Builder, there's a dedicated section for code. You don't have to install another because typically with some themes, you'll need to um, include a plugin that's titled um, Headers and Footers. I think is what it's called, Header Footer. And it allows you to add code to your code without having to get into like the back end of files and stuff. Uh, but Beaver Builder includes that automatically. So you see it says code. Um, if you notice here, it says insert it directly after the opening body tag. Typically, you give this code to a developer like me, even though I don't like, really like to say I'm more of a designer than a developer. But you'll give this code to me, and then we'll get into your website's files and add this code. Well, with WordPress, you don't have to worry about getting any files. You just basically need to, um, if you're using Beaver Builder, you'll come to where it says header code, and then you can just simply paste it here, and then you'll click on publish. By doing that, WordPress is basically putting the code, or really Beaver Builder. Beaver Builder is putting the code where it needs to be so that we can get that Facebook chat functionality added to the site. So... We've added the code. Let's go ahead and um, see if um, the Facebook chat bubble pops up. And as you can see, popped up. Boop. Right there. I said boop. <laughs> you know it's getting late. It's 1131. And we're doing we're doing pretty good. Uh, we're doing pretty good. So the way that it works, people say chat, continuous Kevin Wright, and boom. I can literally chat with hair overdose right here on the website. Real simple, real easy. And I can send pictures all through the chat, right? Real simple, real easy, nothing hard to it. Um, one of the big benefits to this is, um, let's say I'm shopping and I have a question, I can use the Facebook chat option to message you while I'm actively shopping and checking out and stuff. So it's pretty cool. Um, so with that, we've kind of did that. Um, now, I believe, let me just do one more gut check. Boom, boom, boom. Um, inspect my pop-up. Yeah. I know y'all were probably thinking the same thing. I was like, I don't like that. That's that there was humongous, man. Pixels. And I ain't gonna lie. Color. And I'm not keeping that color. However, I am gonna copy this. Paste that. And that is how you utilize CSS on a website. We're gonna go one more time to the customization. Add some CSS. I'm sure that that, that has to have been where I thought it would have been. I'm not gonna worry.
worry about it. All right, click on refresh. Make this smaller. Boom, boom, ain't that nice. Holla at your boy. That's what I'm talking about, baby. All right, so we've got our header. We've got our footer. Now, um, good check, right? Here goes the footer, home shop, book me about, FAQ, logo, all that kind of cool stuff. Check me out. Do I know what I'm doing? Am I, am I still halfway on track? Am I halfway on track? This is what we got down here. Am I halfway on track? You know, let me know something. Let me know something. All right, uh, I'm gonna do one last thing with that footer. I'm sorry. And I actually should, I should I'd probably be letting y'all get some sleep. I just need to bold it. That, that was all I needed to do. I promise that's all I needed to do. I just need to bold the text. All right, so uh, from there, let's go ahead and go to the home page. I'm gonna delete this. We're done with that. Uh, we're technically, we're not done with that. Okay, so there's a few other sections that are like typical, right? So this section is typical, meaning that this is gonna go on any page that I want it to go on and it's gonna always stay the same, right? So if she changes her her um, hashtag, I don't want her to have to go to five different pages to update this text, right? So what I'm going to do now is I'm gonna create this section where the border at the top, the background image, all of this, I'm gonna create a saved row template for this and then I think I'm going to do a saved row template for this section here as well. And then we'll start designing in pages. And you'll see what I mean in a few seconds. So I'm going to go back to here, Overdose. On the back end, I'm going to come to Appearance. Or no, I'm going to go to Beaver Builder. I'm going to go to Saved Rows. Because that's what I'm looking to do. Build a saved row. I'm going to click on Add New. And then I'm going to call this Saved Row. Um slay and well let me get rid of that slay and share or no you know what it's not taking that name slaved and share make this the same row global yes row or module global yes save row save row add save row And let's go ahead and launch Beaver Builder. First thing that I'm gonna do is gonna throw all my little assets up here in the website assets folder. And I am going to start exporting out all of my little goodies over here. Uh, let's see. File, export, selected, desktop. Let's do um, slay, share, background. Right. Let's do file, export, selected, um, phone, share. Say that as a PNG. And then, in all honesty, we'll do this as a grouped graphic since it's so stylized. File, export, select. Let's do slay, share, type text. Slay and share, tag us on Instagram. Making sure everything's spelled right. PNG, boom. All right, so this here is our Row, we're gonna expand it, fixed, full width, click on save. You know what, I don't even think we're gonna be able to do it. Oh no, yeah we can't because it's global. We're gonna have a little bit, of, no we're not gonna have any issues. Okay, so I'm going to click here, so let's set our background image, fixed, full width. And then we gotta get rid of all of this padding. I'm gonna have to figure this one out. Good problem to have. Good problem to have. Boom, boom. Boom. I'm going to 
troops come in and bring out. Ooh, I can't even bring that out. Ooh, this gonna be a good one to mess with. I'm gonna bring out two more rows, and you'll see why two. Even though it looks like I've got only two columns. Come back here. Come back here. No style. Photo. Um, as you can see, this is the photo we're about to input in. Man, it look came out really good. Select photo. Drag that in. Sip my iced tea. We're gonna save. We're gonna save again, and then we're gonna grab um, our image module. <laughs> I wonder how bad that sounds when I sneeze, considering I got this microphone that I'm talking into. I apologize in advance. So this is the image that we're about to place in there. Okay. Have to get all of these images optimized. Click on save. Boom. Now that image looks a little bit small, but we gonna make it look bigger. And we gonna move this over a little bit because we need to make some room for our text. That's why we have this three columns because we needed that space there. And then on top of that, I need to get rid of this. I'm gonna keep the padding on the left and right. I'm gonna need to keep it here. All right, click on save. Let's go back to this image center. We don't want it, we want it left center. All right, and then I'm just gonna duplicate that, which I hope I did, yep. I knew it was gonna do that, golly. All right, so we did that. We're gonna come here, we're going to click on, we want this to align to the right. We're gonna replace, add the text. Show y'all a little bit of animation too, I think. I'm gonna show y'all how to animate some stuff. All right. Let's click on done publish because for whatever reason, it added a phone that's, like I said, not there, really there. All right, so, I mean, we're pretty much on fire. Let's see. So what's missing? We're missing the gold bar at the top. Let me see if I can get that. I mean, technically I don't have to worry about it here. I really don't have to worry about it here. So we're here, 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 and here. Let me click this. That text is so close. like it's so far away you know what I'm gonna add the gold bar as a the pink bar as a differentiator so I'm gonna add let's do 65 on the top Ooh, where that zero come from 65 65 go save come here oh, why would I do that X, okay. Column settings. Yes, we do want equal height. However, I want it to align to the bottom. Really get too much of the bottom because of that gap there. So this is where graphic designers have to work their magic because obviously this isn't cropped to the maximum capacity of what you can be from here we bring that in there get rid of that space I could keep that space on the left but I don't want to click on save phone share v2 or v yeah v2 or the v1 I don't know I'm gonna replace and basically what I did is I made this PNG smaller whenever you say images as PNGs they act they end up um they save the white space around it, right? 
Uh, there was too much white space. If you notice in my design here, this phone is actually bigger than the text. However, because I've got all of this space, it looks like I'm not able to completely re replicate it as I would like. And it's a little bit closer, which is good. To make it smaller, I have to do something like that. But it looks like it's. I think we're. I think we can work with that. I think we can work with that. What y'all think? I think we can work with that. So I'm going to come to advance, and I need to add some padding to the left and right. Technically, the left, or no, the right. Let me add 20 to the left. Come in here. That's still good. Come for the mobile. That's fine. So then we'll click on save. Okay, so what I want to do is because with these type of websites, y'all like stuff moving. So let's animate this. We're going to click on it, click on advanced animation, and I want it to slide in from the left. And I want to do it in half a second. So I'll save. And for this advanced animation, I want it to slide in from the right. And I think I actually got those mixed up. So I'm done. Publish. Boom. <laughs> Did you see that? It came from the center. But I don't like it that way. Let me uh, click back on Beaver Builder. Let me come here, advance, and let's slide right. And then we'll say slide left. I'm telling you, I don't design sites like this. So I felt challenged, and it looks like I'm a, ch there we go. Ooh, look at that sexy transition. Golly. Nice and smooth, nice and smooth. Man, this site look good. I ain't gonna lie to you. Like, I don't design sites like this, so that's why I'm like, I'm like, it, it, in my personal opinion, I may be the designer, but I'm like, this site, I mean, it's, it's, it's on, it's on fleek, fleek, and I think I'm showing my age because I don't think nobody say that no more. <laughs> Ooh, told you, I'm sorry. I'm so sorry, y'all. And something's telling me I need to go horizontal with this. Yeah, something's telling me to do something like that. Menu, center. Something's telling me to do exactly this. Yeah, I'm gonna do that. I didn't like all that space. It made it look like it wasn't centered, even though it is. Click on done, publish. And then we're gonna go back to the home page. All right, so we finished this. We've done our, no, we didn't finish. I'm, I'm going to link um, that text. So we're going to go back to Beaver Builder, go to Saved Rows. We're going to go to Beaver Builder so that we can get to the row. And then I want to link this to the social media, to Instagram. Link type, URL, new window. And just for the just in case, I'm going to link this as well to go to the Instagram. Just in case they decide to do so. Click on done. Click on publish. Oh, don't that look good? That look good, boy. Okay, so we've done that. Um, the last thing I want to do one more of these, right? Um, so I'm going to show y'all once again, another little quick trick, a quick trick. Um, I'm going to come down here and I'm going to save this. Now I'm not going to save it as global. I'm just going to save it as an option because I'm going to, I'm about to do the VIP hair club. Um, description. Global, no. 
it basically what that means is that it's if I change this one here, it's not going to change automatically elsewhere. Um, for the most part, I want it that way because it's going to actually look different on the uh, where I'm about to put it now. Basically, I'm, a, I'm it's going to look something. It's going to be longer here with text above it, whereas down here below, it's just implied that you should um, subscribe. Um, so let's now let's go to the home page. Now let's go to edit page and let's delete all of that work. So so all of those short codes you saw, that's all of what this is. We're about to get rid of all that crap. So all that stuff's gone. We're going to click on update. Oh, Lord, we got to get rid of that too. We got a lot we got to do. All right, so I'm going to show you all a trick. I'm going to go, at, since I'm already on the page, I might as well do this per page. 650, open graph. Um, she sent me some photos. Here over those projects. Website update. Logo files here. Um, let us utilize this picture. Download. So what I'm doing right now is I'm setting the image that's going to show up for um, social media. Right now it shows her old logo, which is not relevant anymore. So we're going to come here, grab one of these website assets, drop in the logo. Kind of drop that in there. You know what? No. Let's take that back. Let's go ahead and be fancy. I'm going to take all of this. File, export, desktop. All right. And we're going to use this. We're going to use this. And I'm going to show y'all another trick. I've got a whole YouTube video on it. I believe I do. File, save, JPEG, open graph, desktop. All right. So I'm going to come here. One, we need to delete that image. But we'll clean up the, the file and stuff in a moment. We drag this in. Click on, click on set featured image. So now that's the featured image there. This is the SEO stuff. Oh, gosh, I don't have none of this set. How do I not have this set? And I did everything else. Any hoots. Let's go ahead and click on update. Let's see how this works out. So we're going to go to... Um, let's go to Facebook. Debug. Click on debugger for Facebook, and we're going to type, stay on sharing debugger. We're going to click share. We're going to click on debug. And as you can see, it's showing that old logo that we just deleted. We're going to scrape that. I'm going to debug it again. You can see it's trying to use that old picture. We're going to scrape it again. Yeah, we're going to have to debug it. I'm going to have to. Gosh, I really don't want to do this right now. Okay, so come to Smart Crawl. We're going to go to Settings. I don't know why Social Page Analysis. How is it that none of this is set? Like, I did this. I do this for all of my clients. Let's go and activate that. I guess, like, somebody actively cut this off. I don't know if she had somebody working on this site or what. Come to events, pages, products. What? Insert link. Okay. I'm going to let her have it because I don't know what none of that is. I don't even set that up for my clients. Let's see. So we can get rid of that. Product link. We can get rid of that. Product tags. Product categories. Post tags. Get rid of that. What I'm doing right now, this is all like social media. This is for like the site map. So basically, I'm getting rid of stuff that I don't want on the site map. Come to 
Dario Crawler, Reporting, Advance, Google, 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 And then, of course, what I say I did, obviously, I did not do. And this is me setting up some SEO stuff, um, open graph, enable open graph. So if open graph is open, enable Twitter cards, send me cards. I'm just saying, ah, oh, titles and meta. So it was set up. Post type, pages, old able, enable. Well then what the, what the hell was the problem? Let's go back to pages. And if you don't know what I'm tripping on right now, what I'm tripping on is that it looks like everything was set like it needed to be set so that I can enable open graph on the, and there it goes, social. So I'm gonna come here, I'm gonna delete that. And that's the image that it was trying, that it was pulling from. I'm gonna select that, click on set, do the same thing here. I'm gonna check back in on this SEO here. Click on update, excuse me. And I want to say thank you if you're still watching this video. There will be a longer version of this or a shorter version of it later. Go ahead and click scrape, scrape, scrap, whatever. Click debug, scrap again. Voila. Y'all thought I was lying. So now we've got this as the image that gets shared when you put it on uh, social media. Right, and I'm actually going to, if you notice too, this is this is SEO at its finest. Keep in mind, this is the this is the image that gets shown for Facebook. Okay, so I don't have no phone numbers. So this is the client here. If you paste that link in, this is iMessage, and you click on enter, that's how it shows up on iMessage as well. Right, this is exactly how it shows up on iMessage. The more you know. <laughs> so, uh, so, so this stuff here isn't just, I mean, it is SEO work, right? Like search engine optimization. iMessage was able to fetch that information. Um, I would like to see an Android phone do that. And if it can, I didn't know. You know, some things I find that I'm not aware about. Um, but with that, I'm going to click on Beaver Builder. Let Beaver Builder load. Load. Take all of my little assets, throw them in the folder, and boom. Okay, now it's time to really do some real design work. So come in here and drop in a row. Don't need to duplicate it. Boom. We're going to here. Full width. Wix, height, blah, 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 blah. All right, so I need to successfully figure out a way to do, to set this up. So as far as what I see right now, I see an issue. And right now I'm just working on trying to, all right, that, that's actually fine. All right, so I'm gonna click group file export selected. Let's do a pin. Yeah, now let's do hero background. Let's do JPEG. Let's go to desktop. So we've got our background image, right? And then hair overdose. Oh, baby. 
you know what? I just I was looking for the doggone tagline that I could put on this page. Come back. I am my hair or something. Media. I love my hair. My hair matters. I don't know. There it goes. I am my hair. I guess. I am my hair. I am my hair. All right, so we're here, here. Man, it just loses so much. Group, file, export, selected. Um, my hair graphic. Type in PNG for the web desktop. All right, so now we've got all of our assets. So what I'm going to do now is set my background image. Select photo. really have to run smush on that one smush is a plugin that optimizes um, images all right so we're here and then I want it to align to the center right right center and what I mean by that is that if I was to do this the right side always stays intact to where ultimately when I do mobile this is the goodness that we're able to see however that's going to change I have to figure out how I'm going to make this work. Um, so now I think I need to add two more columns just to be on the safe side. And then we're going to add an image module. After adding that image module, I'm going to add in my text. And that's the text that says hair overdose. That's the one I just swapped out to say I am my hair. Um, for the sake of this, I do want it to be centered. We're going to save. And then this is what I need to happen for myself. I need to push this over to the right. I need to push this over to the right. So this could be a little bit bigger, right? Right, right, right. <laughs> um, and then I'm going to add in two rows in that column. And they need to be info boxes. Info boxes. I'll tell you why. Info box. Even though they're not a box. Come here. Um, info box. That's cool. We're going to delete that. We want this to say extensions. Structure. Center. Center. Typography. Um, this is the title. Default, 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 which pretty much fine. But what is this? This is. This is black. Um, right about good. Color. But I am missing something. I thought there was an option. Oh, separated. There we go. Yes. Solid color. White. Thickness. Style. Separated margins 20. How far is that? That is 141. The 
this ain't gonna work good. All right, so we got extensions. Uh, let's go back to typography because I'm not liking it. Description margin style. Title top. Description margin. Bottom, nigga. Zero. Oh, come on. Link. Um, you can say the complete box. And here, this is where I need to come to products, categories. So she doesn't have a category that's titled extensions. Oh, this is not good. You know what? I could delete that. This technically can just go to the shop page because it shows everything. It shows all the extensions, right? Same option, custom box. And then here, this is going to say custom wig. And then the link is going to go to nothing because the client didn't get me what I needed before I, before I started on this project. But that's another story. That's a story for another day. Let's go to the bottom. Zero. Let's come here. Padding. Let's set the top. Eight. Here. And for whatever reason, I want this to be H2. Thank you. Typography H2. <laughs> Boom. All right. So we're here, here, here. So we're looking pretty good, right? Still looking like I know what I'm doing. Still looking like I know what I'm doing. It's just that, Kevin, you need to make the box a little bit bigger, a little bit taller. Uh, we can do that. Let's add 300. Oh, no, we're not going to do 300. Let's do 175. Ooh, let's not do 175. Let's do 95. <laughs> Bottom, 95. Save. Let's click P. Kind of look at this. So this is, oh, do I look like I know what I'm doing? Do it look like I know what I'm doing? Does it look like I know what I'm doing? All right. So what is this? How does this respond on mobile? Ooh, that's interesting. How I cropped it off right there. Extensions, custom wig. That is interesting. I mean, it ain't showing nothing, but it is interesting. Um... As much as I love it, let's go ahead and make it harder for myself. So this is what I want to show up for iPad and desktop. However, I want something else to show up on mobile. So I'm going to duplicate that. Golly. That's when I say you think you want to make a website. And then it, you click duplicate one time, and it wants to duplicate. It wants to make it seem like it duplicated one other time. All right, so we're gonna delete that. Delete that. Obviously, you can see that this is centered. Um, I'm going to column settings. Front size first. So right now. I'm doing a little bit of custom work. What I'm saying is, is on mobile, I don't, you saw how originally these two, these two things here, they stacked on top of each other when I mobilized that one. 
I'm saying that when on the mobile view, I don't want them to stack. I want them to small device width. I want it to take up 50% of the screen. So if because they're in the same row and they're both on um, both on the same yeah same row, me telling it to only take up room on 50% of the room on that row, they're gonna stay side by side. So click the P button for preview. I'm clicking P on like. This is not me saving, right? So you can see that the other option is not there. But when I make the screen smaller, and it could, well, not even smaller. Let me just go ahead. So this is desktop view. This is iPad view. She's a little cut off there. It just depends on, ooh, that ain't going to work. That needs to be a little bit wider. Uh, but then when I click on, yeah, I got a little bit of work to do on optimizing it. So as you can see here on for desktop view, you can see that the one that I duplicated it's showing the right one, except I need to um, optimize that text. Um, but everything else pretty much looks fine. So let's go ahead and optimize the mobile view first. So clearly the text doesn't need to be as big as it is now, um, given the fact that it's mobile. So it's going to be on mobile. So let's go ahead and make the text smaller. So I can see this is what the text will look like. I would like to start off right around perfect 20. Right, and we'll come here, come to typography. Of course, you knew you weren't gonna do it. Just got a message. I think I'm just like, you know, one thing that I can sit here and tell you, not everybody is ready to be a business owner. They say, they'll tell you they are, but they're not ready. Oh. Please don't go check. It changed pages. Oh, I did not want you to do that. I hope it's saved. <laughs> um, so as you can see now, see, for desktop view, I need to change that text. But here you can see that the text is optimized. Cool beans, cool beans, cool beans. Let's come to continue editing. We'll come here, click on custom edits, advanced box shadow separator. Um, typography, and we need to optimize here. So I think I did 20, so let's do 24. See how that works out. That's well, it's not gonna work out because that's not the right text. All right, clearly we don't need it that small. I don't know what I told it to be that size. Uh, custom wig, let's do 20, let's do 22. 22 works. Then we'll come to extensions. Typography, 22. And then I want to make this a little bit wider, which means that I can get probably another two pixels in there. Come back here. Cool beans. So, ooh, no, no, ma'am. Let's push that back. Now I see why I had that space there. Oh, come on. That looks perfect. All right. It's 12 13. I think we started just a little while ago. And as you can see, we have not gotten too far. Well, we have, I mean, we got the, f technically the site's done. I always say when you get to this phase, like technically the site's done. You've, we've already done all of the hard stuff. 
And what I mean by the hard stuff is we've already done the header, the footer. Everything else is just, you know, images and links at that point, at least for this particular site. I mean, although there are a few things that are going to change. Gosh, why is it changing? Clicking these buttons, man. And it's not helping that I'm building this directly on the server either. All right, cool. Man. So we got that working. So now I need to make an optimized image for mobile. Nine hundred by seven fifty. Hero. We'll use this picture here. a little bit to the file save as we're gonna see what kind of magic I can make work we'll have to see if I can make some man I should be able to copy this Gee. yeah there we go give it the same exact treatment so instead of JPEG, desktop, boom. All right, so Kevin, what did you just do? Hopefully you realize I'm about to change the background of this picture here. And I'm going to remove this because this is for mobile view, right? So I don't need that big picture. It's only showing her hand. Uh, I want it to be one image where you can kind of see everything, right? At least see a full person. Or instead of being right center, we're gonna say center top. I'm gonna say done, but Kevin, now it's just covering her face. Well, technically it's not, and it won't be. Uh, when we click save and done, obviously this is the desktop and iPad version. When we come here, boom, mobile view, optimized, mobile responsive. We just spent 45 minutes to an hour trying to figure out the freaking hero image, right? The, the image at the top of the website. That's the type of stuff that we do, man. That's what we do at Uncommon E. We're going to take the time to make sure that your website just don't do what it does by default. We make sure everything is responsive and acts how we want it to act, not the way that the platform is going to make it act. Now, with that being said, let's make this VIP club section. Oh, man. You notice we got to knock this out. You know what I mean? Like, this just ain't no get in, get out type situation. <laughs> And this is saying that the website's already designed. File export selected. VIP club text desktop. Um, let's take file export selected. P club hair texture. Background. JPEG for the web. All right, 
So now we're gonna make the VIP section below the hero. We're gonna come to save. Ooh, we do not need that. I need to get the, uh, oh, I didn't save it. I didn't save it as a module. That's why I couldn't find it. I was like, why didn't it save? And I'm, what I'm t talking about is that there, the, um, I need to save that as a module. Row, the pink border. I don't know why I didn't do that. I was about to do it now. I could have did it earlier, but I think it'll be quicker if I just do it this way. Zero, zero everything out. I don't know why for mobile on the left and right, even though I zero everything else out that it always wants to save that. Come here, modules, image, just drag that in there. Come here in advance, zero. Here, fixed full width, full width. Click here, select photo, border, magic. All right, Good. click on save. So now we've got the pink border, right? What I'm about to do is I'm about to save, save as pink border. Man, don't check my spelling, man. Am I tripping? I ain't tripping. Click on save. So now whenever I need to just drag out a pink border, I can do that now. Because if I click here, click on save, pink border. I, when I drag that out, it'll drag out a whole pink border. Um, so I'm going to do now is click out row. Let's put this row here. We want this to be fixed, full width. We want 65 at the top, sir. 65 at the bottom. We want an image in the background. But we're still recording, which is really good. Click on select, click on save, bring in another image module, yes, image, center, center, select, here we have Save. Oh, shock a lot. Save. As you can see, I don't know what it is, but that image is not that big. That thing is so pixelated, it's a shame. Save. Subscription form. What is this thing to copy, man? All right, let me click on save. Yeah, I All right, let me click on done. Click on publish. Let me let the website kind of catch up to my awesome designs. Let's click on refresh, nose check. And as you can see, there's no issue, right? Um, we're gonna come back here, click on Beaver Builder. I need to get some text. Subscribe for everything hair over DOS. Hair over DOS. And that is for description, bottom text, form field, heading, subheading. Let's go ahead and just make it a subheading, style, alignment, center, center. It, what is that medium? Yep, medium. Let's give it that pink. So 
So now we've got the VIP hair club section in. And now I got a couple of other easier sections that we can do now. Um, so what I mean by easier is now these are just images that we've created. And I can simply just click file, export, select it. We want those out as PNGs because they have a little drop shadow. We can take this, throw that over there. Come here, rows. We need dos, dos, dos rows. But before we move any further, I need to come to saved, pink, border, boom. Like I said, just drag it out and it works. Fixed, full width, advanced, padding, 65, 65. Image. Got a little quiet on you, didn't I? Am I getting tired? URL. This is just going to go to the shop page. Click on save. Another image. Center. It's not going to shoot anywhere. <laughs> Click on save, save. Both of those images are good. We can dump these bad boys in there. And then we've got, let's do a group of that. File, export, select. And then we got full lace, wigs, text. And then we've just got all of these options here. G, 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 G. File, export, selected. All right, in all honesty, should I duplicate? to duplicate or not to duplicate that is the the question whenever something like that happens you have to stop because you might delete the wrong duplicate it's kind of like in rocket they're like oh i see three of them see i deleted one and they both went away sometimes you'll delete the top and it'd be the bottom when you need to delete i don't know whatever let's try that again That worked here. All right, so we'll come here. Um, full lace wigs. Yep, you can't do any of that. So we're going to replace that with the text. Excuse me. Save. I love type. I just love type. One, two, three, four. We're going to come here. Rows. Image. C. 
center, select. And I don't know if I'm gonna get <clears throat> if I'm gonna get blocked from Facebook or even YouTube because I don't know how much they can really hear this music in the background. Let's see, body, full waist. Come on, man. What do you mean? Body wave. Oh, baby. Did I do that? D wave. Yep. Wave. And I specifically asked her, did I spell everything right? Doing a little bit of graphic work on my other monitor. <sighs> Apparently, this thing needs to say body wave full lace, not just body lace, which makes sense, I guess. I don't know what I was thinking, whether I was right or wrong in this scenario. Let's click on save, and this actually make life a little bit easier for myself. Duplicate column. The next one is deep. Replace. Drinking my iced tea, baby. Deep wave. Base closure, deep wave, full ace wig. Hold on, are these opening up a new tab? No, yeah, same window. Come here, duplicate column. Click again. Place. This chick here look mad, boy. Where she at? Here? Tell me she don't look mad. She don't look like she wanted that loose wave, full lace wig on her, on her, on her head. She don't look too happy about that, man. Save, select, loose, wave, full lace wig, save. And we got one more we need to do. Duplicate column. And that last one is straight. And then I come up here, I'll steal this. That is fifty percent of what the whole damn car. Okay, view all wigs. Link, select. That's what I'm trying to figure out is I don't know how, how do I have it here? Like what page is this link going to? I just says view all products, view all products. All right, so let's go to shop.
last but not least, the golden section. Slay and share. Just need the pink border on top. Boom. So we have effectively added all of our sections that we need. I'm going to click done and publish. I'm going to click refresh. Whenever working with Beaver Builder, I just make it a habit. Whenever I finish publishing and refreshing the page, no matter if there's an issue or not, I just refresh by default. And I can say we did a damn good job. <sighs> Sorry, I just love that shit there. I just love that little animation, boy. That shit there is everything. Because I was about to say, I forgot it animated. I was about to say, what the hell is my animation? Um, and I can click on any one of those. Yeah, this is awesome. This is looking good. So the only thing that I'm seeing that there's an issue, there's just too much space right here. It looks like everything else is cool. I'm going to, but you know me, I'm kind of feeling this animation. So let's animate 0.5. I just want to make sure I'm doing it right. 0.5. Oh, that looks so good. So I'm going to make all of these come from the right. I don't know why that. Seems so ass backwards though. Point half a second. You know what? Let's do point two five. A half of a half of a second. So I just feel like that that little bit of a delay is just a little bit too long. Done, publish. What we got? What we got? Show me something. Oof, that look good, don't it? <laughs> All at one time. Give it to me, baby. Nerd world colors. That dude, stay website designer. It's a dude that I watch. I'm sorry, y'all. I gotta um, show my partner in crime. All right, so we've got that. Um, let's keep the animation. I mean, it is the home page, so I feel like we can do a little bit of an Oh, my gosh. Did you see it slide in? <laughs> oh, what am I talking about? What am I talking about? What am I talking about? Oh, yeah, I got to animate this. So I want this to come from the top. Stop. Slide down. Let's make that point two five. I want this to slide in from the right, so I feel like. So this needs to say. Animate from the left. And then this one here is going to animate from the. Right, right. Point. This here. Get rid of that. Animate. Slide down. Slide up. Animate. Slide right. 
I'm going to keep these here. I'm not going to animate these. Let's click done, publish. Looking like I never designed a site before. <laughs> Let me refresh that. I just want to see how this slides in. <laughs> oh, baby. Look at that. Look at that. Look at that, nigga. Ooh, I'm sorry. I should not. I hope I don't. I didn't say it. Even though, I mean, y'all with me. Y'all feel me. one little issue dang so the issue that i see is right here that pink isn't covering literally the edge of that photo i'm gonna have to redo that whole thing graphic and you can barely tell because of the for the glitter there That's not right. I didn't want to do footer. I need to do the. Um, go back to home page. Beaver Builder. Here, click the wrench. So if you notice, it opened up in a new tab for me to edit. Because because I'm going to edit it here, and then it's going to update in the other tab. Let's delete, delete. Let's paste that in there. Hoping I optimize all of these images. Everything will work out fine. Save, done, cancel. There was an issue. For mobile, I do want 20 pixels up top. For mobile, I do want 20 pixels at the bottom. And it is officially 1243. I think the hardest page is pretty much done. Let's click done, publish. Let the animation show begin. Oh, okay. Everything looks good. So home page achievement unlocked. I'm actually about to check out the website on my webs on my phone here over dosecollection.com. If I can spell it right. So one thing that I did learn about about phones is that you're technically not typing the tech, the button you think you're t clicking on on your phone. The phone is trying to be smart enough to know what it thinks you're going to click on so that it can make that selection for you. Because think about it, how are these big thumbs hitting one button, right? Like, why is it when I click A that S doesn't immediately get clicked on as well? It's because the phone is trying to dictate what you may be trying to spell. I uh, thought that was really interesting. So, awesome. All of this looks good. Looks amazing. 
way better than the site we did years ago or a year ago. Cool beans. So we've got that part in there. Um, now, it's the next page. So the about page, this is when I say all the hard work is done now, right? We did all of the customization. We set everything up. Now all we have to do is fill in the blanks. And this is what I mean. So we'll go to the about page, right? I need to update the about page. So we'll click on edit page, just like we did before. Home page was the hardest one. I'm not gonna lie to you. Click on update. All right, here we go. So I'm gonna click on set featured image because once again, I wanna make sure that we're utilizing the best image possible for um, for open graph, the whole social media sharing thing. I'll have to set all of this social media stuff up because none of that is pulling in. Let's click on update. And like I said, this page is gonna be so easy to do because it's just the about page. So while, let's go ahead and click on Beaver Builder. So I'm gonna go ahead and click out, um, export out my assets, file, export out, selected, about us text, let's do PNG. All right, so that's exported out. And we're gonna see, we're gonna group, file, export, selected. We're gonna say owner pick Meg Foe. Click on JPEG, desktop, right? And then we're gonna click out our last bit of assets, file, export, selected, at full, at foe. And then we'll do PNG, boom, right? So first thing I'm gonna do, let's go ahead and drag out the easy part. The easy part is just the um, slay and share and the pink border. Just so that you can see what I'm doing. Um, this is the about page. And all I did was drag this part out. And now let's do the top part. It's not hard, but it is a bit different. Um, because the image on the right is taking up the full page. So there's a little bit of magic that I got to put with this sauce. Um, let's go ahead and come here, come here. So the top padding needs to be zero. The bottom padding needs to be zero. And the left padding on this side, or I don't know which. Yeah, this side, you're right, um, needs to be zero. zero and we click on save okay the first thing is we're going to put the image in the background here photo select drop that photo in i kind of like this page i like how that faded that pink faded effect i did for this picture came out click on save right so we got the image in we're gonna click on save there then we need to put an image on top of that image and that's going to be this image here this is at the foreign chicks um, Instagram the owner click on select all right so what we're going to do now is, is we need to, one, I need to add some more columns to this because I don't like that row. One, two, where's the third one? One, two, buckle my shoe, three, four. No, I don't know why I just said that. I'm a grown man. All right. Um, so what am I thinking about? Come here, advanced. 75, I said 200. 
hundred. Let's add three seventy-five. Let's add four twenty-five. Let's add five hundred. Perfecto. So now I'm gonna come in here and I'm gonna say let's do four hundred and then let's add one hundred bottle. Then I'm gonna say let's come in here and let's add an image. All right. Select and we're about to drag in our about us text. Click on save, center, center. And while I'm doing that, I'm gonna say column, column settings, and I know that I do want this section to center. Like whatever I do, I want this to be centered to each other. And actually, let me go ahead and fix this because I already know this is gonna be an issue. Go to advance, iPad, everything's fine. But when we come here, Oh, no, that's fine, too. But I want to reverse the stack in order. Click on save. So what I did was is typically this would stack on top like you just saw. But I just reversed the stack in order. So on mobile, the oh, see, it didn't do it. It straight fooled me, didn't it? It, didn't, it fooled me. I ain't no fool. <laughs> Um, so let's see. Let's come here. Let's click on cancel. Column settings. Dump this off over here. Advanced. Margin. Margin. See, that's not up there. Why you why are you playing with me? Stacking order. Reverse. There you go. Now it's reversed. Um but I need for mobile. I need this to be, what is this, 100, 100, save, click on P, here, here, oh, that's what I needed, I can see the full body, now we're going to go back to let's do info box or no let's go header oh whoa at what time it just said i was going to come out hope y'all can't see none of that all right so we got our text design is a funny word says who who said design is a funny word? I ain't, you know, people just be doing the damnedest things. I ain't lying. So I'm going to say this is the heading. This, of course, is the paragraph. Let's click on save. Watch this thing do the freaking fool. Let me click done, publish, and refresh. Excuse me. Uh, so then I'm gonna come back to Beaver Builder. I don't know, not know why about is linked. Where is about linking to, first of all? Nothing. Nothing. Why is about pink? Oh, <laughs> I think that's that whole SEO stuff that I got set left responsive. I'll leave it center for responsive. I'm going to click on this. I'm going to say zero. In fact, we're going to say negative 50. Because there's a lot of negative, there's a lot of negative space that we've got there. And we are going to click back here. Typography. 
six colors pink. So H five. Search four. There we go. We'll save. And we have finished the about page. So we're going to click on done, publish, refresh. Boom. Looking good, Kevo. I say we're looking good, Kevo. All right. All right. Let's be your one stop shop where the handling appears of our customer is hold on man I'm just not read I don't read this content and I just read some tripping oh yeah I mean I guess that's what she got I'm sorry I got lost I mean I don't know I'm not a content writer something just ain't something ain't looking right but I'm like like all right um let's go ahead and click on FAQ wow that hurt same thing when it comes to edit page but you see how it's kind of like we're steamrolling through the pages now? Because we did all the hard work already. We've already created the templates and did everything we needed to basically do. Um, Took that information. That's weird. All right, click on update. <laughs> Same thing. I'm gonna simply drag in the stuff. Who is gonna be a long video? I gotta edit. Golly, man. Man, I don't know how many tracks I'm gonna need to put to this. I don't even know if I'm going to wait to even upload this thing. I'm just like, this ain't going to take forever to upload. Oh, let me see. Rows. Modules. Image. accordion just give me get all my questions in first then I'll put my answers Let me 
still say it is spelled wrong. There we go. All right, so we got all of that in there, right? So we can click on save. Let's do it like we did last time. Slay and share. Pink border. And then we are going to make 65 at the top, 65 at the bottom. Come here, oh man, settings. Inactivate other items, yes, expand the first item. No, title, S center, color of the title should be white. Hover should be black. Background color should be pink. Hover background color should be Supposed to no, it should be the same thing. Um, let's see, plus icons after text. Let me say none, to be honest with you. Um, icon colors will do white, black, because that's what I got up here. Rounded corners. What rounded corners do we have here? Ten. Content. Um, I guess center the content. Content should be black. Background color should be this off gray. Click on save. Not necessarily for the items. Then we'll come here, frequently asked questions. What is virgin hair? According to hair overdose, that's what virgin hair is. How much hair do I need? According to hair overdose, that's how much hair you need. Cancellation policy. This is their cancel. This is their cancellation policy. Can I color my extensions? Yes. How often do Tips do not important tips do not sleep on the damp or Publish, refresh. Do I know what I'm doing? 
do I know what I'm doing? Cause it show sure look like it. It show sure look like it. All right, so we got the FAQ, uh, maintenance tips, and I honestly we don't have to do too much here because this is what this page is. It is just the it is just a sub page. So what I'm gonna do is we are going to go to edit page. So we don't need that there. Not bad, but get rid of that. Set featured image. Select the image. Social. Yeah, she added pages. That's why that stuff's not on there. And then we're gonna click update. Builder. Whew, that scared me for about a half a second. Let's go to text to editor. Come in here. And for the most part, I'm just going to. Oh, man, I hate that. All right, so here are over those. We're going to. Bold that is what H two. Oh shit! Come here, H three. I don't know why she did this. I do not like this at all. H four. Obviously, I don't like that either. All right. Boom. 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 Get the full business of your hair. In order to get full benefits of your hair and maintenance, you're part of the maintenance, longevity, tip top shape can be very tricky. The key to making investment is starting bundles. So, boom. save see I left the hair over those for what she for what she had in there don't agree with it whatsoever but I'm just like whatever I do not know why we've got a gold star on the side of your name on the maintenance page but I'm like that's what she had that's what we keeping baby <laughs> So on the maintenance page, it's going to exchange and return policy. Lord. Lord. What is this? What is this? Got to edit page. Oh, I'm getting there. We're getting there. Come in. All X. Take out. Select, boom, boom. Text editor, paste all paragraph. There we go. Right. Well, my thing is, is, where did it get off on saying 
Maybe. Yeah, that's what it needs to look like. And then we're going to bolt that. I think we did a three. A bolt. The life of a web designer, I'm telling you, boy. And this is the this is the fun part of my job. Boy, you thought you thought you saw something, but going through other people's content. All right, so we got that done. Publish. How are we getting somewhere? My computer ain't crashed on me yet. All right, so we got frequently asked questions, the about page, the home page, contact page. And then we can do some of the, then we can get to some of the fun stuff. All right, so I need to dump those. There's a few things I need to get from the contact page. So I need to get the our locations section. File export selected. All right, let's get San Antonio file export. San Antonio. Let's get Houston. Select contact form PNG. All right, so go to the edit page. Here, delete the good crap that is on there now. Add in our image, social. Image, image, update. All right, click on Beaver Builder. You can tell I'm out of there. I think I was talking a little bit more at the beginning. I said I was going to record this video. And gosh darn it, I am recording the video. Let's go ahead and make this full width. Let's go ahead and add the 65 at the top. Come save. Click on image. Two image. The reason why we're doing images, file export select. I'm doing an image of the Houston location. And it's a screenshot of um, it's a screenshot of a Google Maps, right? The reason why I'm doing that is because if, if you watch the beginning of the video, um, the idea is that Google has to um, Google your website has to call out to get access to this address, right? So the thing is, is just that if I don't um, 
if 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 I don't if the website doesn't have to call out to get this information, right? I'm like the better. You can just you know. So the idea is, you know, forget file export. Like embedding the map, you can still get. You still get the benefits of having the map without having to embed the map, meaning that you can still have the Google Maps added to your site, at least the screenshot anyway, and um, and just link to like like you just saw me do, link to where they can get directions from. And for the most part, um, you know, Google will make that information readily available for them by just simply. Um, when they click on the map, it'll still take them to Google Maps. It'll take them to Google, you know, and ask them for what directions they're looking to get. This one here, we're going to do an info box with a graphic at the top. Excuse me. Belching this whole stream, it feels like. Houston, Texas. Houston on my back. This is one fifty three. Three sixty two. I'm about to say that's small. I'm out of there. I ain't gonna lie to you. I have no energy. Entergy. To make this work. Alright, so we got San Antonio, Texas, Houston, Texas. My question though is 362. this a little bit bigger for some reason. save it and then the last piece of goodness contact form is the contact form Let's see what I can do as far as styling this contact form. 
your name, your email, your subject. That's what I need. All right, so it looks like everything is pretty much set. I just need to style it. So submit, style, style to. Oh yeah, no, we ain't doing that. Um, all right, first, let's get rid of the borders. I don't, I don't, I don't want the borders. Get rid of the borders. We're already there. Um, border color. I just need to know where it's getting the color from. Values from stop. Border radius. Like ten again. Um. That's right. Typography. my bowl all uppercase subject HOD website. This is going to be the text that gets put in. Um, Prelo print. So print it got an order coming. Now I'm gonna put the oh so now I'm getting an appointment comma click on save this form is going to go to two spots. I just need to get a proper coloring. Oh, recaption. Show recaption. Um, let me go ahead and add this recapture. Recapture. And if you're not familiar with recapture, is that's the thing that keeps spam away. I mean, if you got a WordPress website, you most definitely are aware of spam. And you need to be aware of Google's recapture. So I'm gonna paste these codes in and you'll see what I mean. The little thing that says, hey, are you a robot? That's what I mean by recapture. That little thing is about to keep so much spam away. And it works so well, Yahoo even uses it. <laughs> um, okay, so stop. I just need to make those form boxes. Input color background at input side. I'm assuming this is it. Yep. Yep, 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 yep. Come in, copy that. It's all these. All right, click on save. Man, where's my border radiuses, man? Come on, man. I'm trying to border with. Radius, 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 rounded corners, rounded corners, rounded corners. Why do I not? But form, I don't care about the padding. Huh, that's interesting. I'm not getting my rounded corners. Input message color, message alignment. I don't know. Whatever. 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 Yeah, whatever. All right. Got my contact page. We looking good. We are looking.
freakishly good. Freakishly good. Thank you. Still doing animation. Maintenance tips. Exchange and refund. About. Book me. We'll come back. Shot. Okay, so. The book me, San Antonio. I got to take some to the San Antonio book in. All right, so that still works. That's fine. That's fine. That's fine. All that stuff's fine. All right, so now we need to figure out. Not necessarily figure out. We just need to get this back to where it was. Full lace wigs. Density. Yeah. All right, so we've got all of that. Let's go to my account. And for the most part, all of these pages should be fine. All right, so let's click on edit page here. Let's go to cart. Let's click edit page here. Let's go to checkout. Yeah, so for the most part, to delete all of this text, set the image. What I'm doing is there was some code surrounding the information on this page. And we didn't like that code because we deleted the old thing. Update. So since we deleted the old theme, there was no need for the code. So since there was no need for the code, we just needed to look. We needed to delete the additional bits of code that were on this page, just like this. All of that, don't need it. Don't need it. Come here. Open graph. Select social. Select. Select. Update. My account. Probably didn't give me the. Oh, no, it won't. That's cool. All right, so now this is what the My Account page looks like. Awesome sauce. Oh, I'm feeling good. Because before I go to sleep, I'm not even tired, man. That's the funny thing. Click on cart. I actually woke up early today. Return to shop. This is good. All good. I'm excited. I'm excited. So I'm really ready to get this video out. Um, all right. Um, there's a there was another page I needed to look at. Home shot cart about checkout. All right. Um, edit. It was a checkout page. I believe that there is code on the checkout page since it was on every other page as well. Oh no, it's actually clean. That's what's up. Social. Update, update. Oh, this is going to be good. Get a project, quote unquote, done. Can't never complain about that. All right. So, um, we're good. I think we're 
we did it we did it y'all rocked with me all the way to the end of a website i mean i'm about to do some optimization stuff but i mean you can tell i'm no lie this is very well um a wordpress website it is 100 percent functional responsive does everything you would want any other kind of website to do Shit, i mean you can't complain with this Shit, let me tell it in some cases it's a little bit more functional than other sites but who am i to say anything who am i and while i'm at it i do not i'm not too fond of this dark of gray that i've got back here Done publish. All right. So what I'm going to do now, some bonus stuff. Um, I'm going to add one of my favorite plugins, my um, shopping cart plugin. It's a little bit easier for people to shop. Let's see. WooCommerce. Shopping cart. It's a free plug-in. Um, I don't want to necessarily say lightweight, but it's awesome. Woo cart. Where did it? Oh, no, 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 no. Where are you at? There it goes. But this one has 10,000. This has 4,000. Is this new? Interesting. Let me you go with the one that I'm used to. Live cart. Could be it. I just, I just was looking at something. My apologies.
auto open cart when item is added add to cart without page refresh show preload check out when added that. CSS work here. Publish. So now that slides out with no problems. Go to shop. Here over those six thirteen. Add the cart. Oh, shop logger. So we looking good there. Click on view cart. So we got the cart added. Um, color is this? So 
looking mighty fine. Mighty, mighty fine. New car slider. All right, so basically from here, I'm about to just optimize the site, optimize this back end and all that kind of cool jazz. So for the most part, we've got a full functioning mobile responsive freaking site, man. We did the doggone thing today. We did the doggone thing today. Now I just got to get this thing linked to Facebook and allow the customer client to be able to sell her products on Instagram and all that kind of cool stuff. So nevertheless, looks like we're all good. So I appreciate y'all rocking with me for this long. And uh, I'll holler at y'all later. <laughs> Bye.